whatever she does, she does at 100 miles an hour. I think the kind of work that Sophie is doing is really exciting. How can you have more knowledge than Dr. Hedgehog? <laughs> Who are you and uh, what do you do? So I'm Dr. Sophie Lund Rasmussen, or Dr. Hedgehog. It's one of the few species of wildlife that we can actually get really close to, because their strategy when faced with danger is to stand completely still. But of course, a species that would move away from machines it could be in danger. From around 2016, uh, stories started showing up in the media in mainland Europe, uh, claiming that robotic lawnmowers were very dangerous to hedgehogs. But it was completely anecdotal. Nobody had actually studied this. So I decided to spend my summer holiday to investigate the effects of these robotic lawnmowers on hedgehogs. And this goes to show how important this work is, because obviously these injuries can be lethal to the hedgehogs. They live amongst us. They are vulnerable to problems that we cause for them, really. They've, they've declined massively um, by up to 75% in, in rural areas just since the turn of the century. I mean, if we use these as an example, that's, that's these three gone, and there's this one left. So we really do need to, to you know, do all we can to help them. I basically got in touch with the manufacturers. I was really positively surprised to find that Husqvarna and Steel were generally interested. The 30 years of robotic lawnmower development is the, the main part for me when talking about Husqvarna. We are aware that additional research and engineering is needed. People know about the University of Oxford. They respect the research being produced here. This is exactly what we wanted to have in this area because we need a methodology to actually identify how to test our products. We do a lot of tests with Hedgehog Crest Test Dummies, which we have developed especially for the purpose. And we wanted a dummy that really represented reality, because obviously we cannot test on live hedgehogs. And also to develop a standardized safety test, because that would allow us to provide sort of hedgehog-friendly stamps to guide the consumers into buying hedgehog-friendly robotic lawnmowers in the future. Uh, I'm a computer engineer from the background here, so it's, uh, we have two different ways of going to it. Together we create a bigger picture, a better picture of the situation overall. After their first intense talks to Sophie about her work, we have put together a team of engineers and started to transfer her major findings into our engineering project. It's a great opportunity to collaborate with the industry because we're working towards the same goal the small critters out there in our gardens, they create a lot of feelings. We, of course, as humans, don't want to hurt them. We want them in our gardens. We, for example, have a feature where you can uh, make sure that the mover is not going out during dusk and dawn. So preventing nighttime operation of your robotic mower is the first layer of safety. And also we have uh, the biodiversity zone that we are neighboring now also for some of our products that you can define areas in your garden that are not being cut. This year, we launched our first products with radars. So this particular model of robotic lawnmower is a very new product, and we recently tested it. And for the first time, we actually experienced that a robotic lawnmower detected the hedgehog at a distance and changed directions. And that was the perfect scenario. This is what we've been working towards, and, and we're really reaching that step now, and it makes me so happy. Moreover, we offered to be part of the industry partner team supporting Sophie's work in order to establish a basis for a new safety standard for hedgehogs. For my point of view, it's very hard to get to that point without the help uh, from Sophie. Shouldn't we make a difference and try to protect these hedgehogs in our lives so that our grandchildren can get this wonderful nature experience you know, meeting a hedgehog in the garden at night, getting really close to it, being able to see this really mysterious and fascinating creature.